Hey guys, what's up? I'm the Original Gamer, and today I am here with the unboxing of the long-awaited PlayStation 5 console. All right, so as you guys can see here, I was lucky enough to snag myself two PlayStation 5 consoles. Now these bad boys are super hard to come across, so let me know if you guys were fortunate enough to get one. Let me know if you guys are still having trouble. Best of luck to you guys on securing yourself under these things because these guys are super hard to come across. But one of them I was lucky enough to snag off of Amazon and the other one I was actually, uh, I got from PlayStation themselves. Um, and when I received it in the mail, they, uh, they left a little note inside saying, thank you for purchasing the PlayStation 5 console and left a little uh, gift code in there. So that was really cool, that was awesome. As you could tell, the boxes are absolutely ginormous. Like they're like, right up here and if you guys saw my xbox uh series x unboxing video and see where the xbox's height was you know what? let me just grab the xbox series xbox xbox series xbox wow yeah so here is the xbox series x box right next to the ps5 box and as you can see this bad boy is significantly larger compared to this bad boy and oh it's just wicked how huge it is. Like I was not expecting it to be this huge or heavy. The PS5 is freaking heavy. Like you have no clue. And another main difference about the PS5 and the Series X is that the PS5 actually has launch games. Yep. Here we go, guys. The PS5, I, you guys cannot see me over this thing. All right, I'm about to talk like this. You see the front of the box. It has the console on it along with the controller. You see the sides as well it has another angle of the uh, console and controller itself and we flip it to the back and as you can see this thing is this thing is heavy as evident by this sticker right here on the bottom left look at this it has a sticker that says heavy object team lift required this thing is pretty hefty i couldn't even carry this thing by myself i had to get some help so oh my gosh oh my goodness oh this is heavy yeah, yeah you guys can see me it says play like never before, lightning speed, harness the power of a custom CPU and solid state drive with integrated IO that rewrite the rules of what a PlayStation console could do. Breathtaking immersion, discover a deeper gaming experience with support for haptic feedback, adaptive triggers, and 3D audio technology. Stunning games, marvel at incredible graphics, and experience the new PS5 features. Play a back catalog of, sus of supported PS4 games with system update. I'm stoked. I can't wait to get this opened up and see what the console looks like. I have not, okay, you guys can't see me. I should have waited. I have not seen any videos on this bad boy being unboxed. So this is all just like the Xbox Series X, a blind unboxing for me. So you could only imagine how excited I am. So without further ado, guys, let's just get this right open. PlayStation's packaging isn't as pristine and high quality as Xbox's boxing is. Uh, Cause Xbox's has nice like foam all around it and heck even that little ex like special tape that they have uh it's just xbox's like presentation of their console has always just been a whole lot better than playstations and it really shows wait okay let's let's lift this out of here oh my gosh this is heavy dude this thing is this thing is freaking Whew, I am out of breath just trying to get that out of here. Here it is, guys. Here is the white box of the PS5. This looks really nice and clean and simple, though it, yeah, it is kind of cheap. It's just like normal cardboard box. Uh, but here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Here we go. Let's see. Okay. Oh, look. So here, here's some cables right here. Here's the AC power cord. Put that aside. Uh, oh, this is a controller. This is a controller. Okay. Okay. Let's let's move this aside and let's take a look at the controller really quick. Let's take a look at the controller. Okay, guys. So we have the DualSense 5. I am excited to open this controller because I heard a lot of, of extremely positive things about it. Um, so I've been excited to get my hands on it. And here we are right here. I am excited. And I'm just going to go ahead and take it out of the wrapping. Wow. Wow. This feels really nice. Holy moly. Wow, those triggers feel really good too. Those bumpers feel nice as well. Oh, this controller feels so nice. Oh, the light. Oh, the light. 
Oh man, oh man. Whoa. There's like a little grip on it and it's like a bunch of tiny triangle circles, X's and squares. That is so crazy looking. It's so tiny, you could barely see that fine detail. It looks so good. And it also does use a USB um, C cord as well. Um, I do love the analog stick, the clear uh, design they went with the buttons. Same with the, the normal buttons themselves, the clear designs. And uh, the share button and the pause button, the touchpad. It's just a really nice looking controller. Wow, I am in love with this controller. It feels so good too. It feels really good in my hands. I thought the Xbox controller felt really good, but this one feels really nice. It's just a very pretty controller. Back to where we left off. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I do not like that sound. Gosh, yeah, PlayStation's packaging is very poor. Oh man, that gave me goosebumps, that noise. Oh man, <laughs> the hairs on my arm are standing up. Just because, ooh, I, I don't like that. This is, oh, here's the, the stand for the console itself. Let's go ahead and get that out. Here's the base for it. I don't know how this goes on, but we'll figure it out. I know you twist it. Yeah, it twists. We'll mess with that a bit more once we get that far. Uh, we also do have the special HDMI 2.1 that allows for the 120 uh, FPS and 4K this out right here put this aside all right here is the actual console itself you guys could kind of see it right in there um, this thing what is the packaging on this thing why is it packaged with like drink carriers from like Whataburger freaking <laughs> that's so funny that's weird okay so let's lift this out wow this feels like it's gonna tear lifting it like that this does not feel safe yeah that's a lot better yeah, packaging on this is quite poor, if I do say so myself. But here it is, here is the PS5. And let's just get it out of the drink carriers. Wow, I see the, I see the big old PlayStation logo on here. All right, it is out. And let's get it out of the uh, styrofoam. This thing is heavy, dude. This thing is really heavy. Whoa. There goes all the dust on that shiny plastic. There it is, out of the box, out of the box. Or out of the wrapping paper or whatever. So here it is. Whoa, this thing looks, this thing looks all right. I was never too fond of the design um, itself. I don't know, it just never, it never really, uh, was my taste, I guess. Um, but, you know, honestly, it does look a lot nicer in person than uh, what I thought it was gonna look like. Um, it is very hefty and big, and you see the little disc drive there. And let me f if I flip it over to, to the back and to the side, you can see the big PlayStation logo here on the top. And on the back, you do see all the little audio or not the audio, you do see all the little uh, plugins and I see we have the AC adapter, we have the HDMI, uh, Ethernet, and then two USB 2.0s, I believe, or the 3.0s. Now let's try putting that this little stand on it. Um, it does go on right here on this bottom part. It is heavy, wow, like I keep trying to move it around. So I'm just looking at the picture on the box. Is that it? Does it not lock on there? Does it not lock or does it, does it just hook onto it? Oh, oh, okay, look, so there's a screw right here. There's this little dot that comes out of the bottom of the console. Like this little, this little plug that comes out of the bottom. You take this screw out of the side right here. There we go. So once you get that out, then you could put the console, you could put the hook on there. And now it'll stand nice and perfectly but here it is guys here is the playstation 5 and here is that little note i mentioned to you guys earlier that uh came with the playstation i got from playstation themselves and it's a little note card and it says thank you and on the back it says congratulations on your playstation 5 the big day is finally here thank you for your support 
Uh, we really hope you enjoy the journey. As a small token of our appreciation, please visit PlayStationStore.com to receive a special gift. Welcome to the next generation of gaming. Best regards. But, so I thought this was a really nice thing that they included with the console themselves. I thought that was very sweet and very cool. Thank you very much, PlayStation. Very cool. But honestly, I am pleasantly surprised. This thing is massive. I mean, as you can see right here, it is huge. We got to get that thumbnail pick with the size of it. I'm glad it's crazy to believe the day's already here that we have the PlayStation 5. It's just, it looks so cool. Oh, and there's a little X, there's a little square triangle circle X on the inside and the back also. That looks really nice. You could also take these side plates off, but I don't know how to and I don't want to do it because I don't want to mess something up. I'm also getting fingerprint smudges on the console itself and uh, I don't, I don't want, I don't want that. <laughs> But anyways, guys, that is it for the PlayStation 5 unboxing. I I like it. I like it. I was iffy on how it looked. I still don't think it looks the best, but it doesn't look as bad as I thought it was going to look. Um, the, the Xbox Series X, uh, in my opinion, I think looks way better. Uh, I just like the, the weird brick look to the Series X. Nice and simple. This one tries to be too futuristic and modern, and it just looks really weird. Um, it, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it just needs to grow on me. But as of right now, it's kind of funky. Um, but I'm so glad I finally have it. And uh, I am really excited to play uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales. That was my most anticipated game for this console. So I am really looking forward to it. Uh, I'm also looking forward to Sackboy and Call of Duty, of course. Um, Demon Souls also came out. And uh, Horizon Zero Dawn is going to be coming out. There's so many exclusives. I'm so excited for Ratchet and Clank. Ah, oh, there's so many games that are going to be coming out for this console that I'm just super excited for. And um, I'm glad I had the chance to uh, play it now that I have the PS5. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm the Original Gamer, and I will see you guys next time.